Do you have a favorite Bible verse? Uh, if you're like me, uh, your favorite Bible verse, if you have one, uh, probably changes like your favorite pair of shoes changes. Um, I think I've had, I don't know, maybe a hundred different Bible verses. It's whatever, I guess, God's like really speaking to me in that moment. Uh, but currently my favorite Bible verse in all of the Bible um, is Romans chapter five, verses one through two. Okay, so it's two verses, but it counts. It's my favorite Bible verse. But Romans chapter five, verse one through two, it, it says this. I want to read it to you today. It says, therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. The reason that's right now my favorite Bible verse, verses in all of the Bible, is because it helps remind me that the thing which often separates me from fully receiving the love of God has already been taken care of. What is that thing? Um, the thing that often separates me and, and maybe happens to you too from fully receiving and fully like living in the love of God, the reality that God loves me, it's my own faults and failures. It's sin. It's, it's areas of my life where I am maybe miss the mark, where I do what I shouldn't do or I don't do what I should do. And, and something happens on the inside of me where because I, I didn't meet up to a certain standard or expectation that I, I feel disconnected from, from God's love. And, and the reason that I love Romans chapter 5 verses 1 through 2 is because it, it reminds me that while I may feel that, that's not the reality. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 through 2, I'm going to kind of read it to you again in pieces, but it says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, listen to this, we have peace with God. Did you know that by simply putting your faith and your trust in Jesus, by simply saying, I can't do this on my own, I need a Savior, and saying, yeah, I'm going to follow Jesus and put my faith and my trust and all of my life in serving Him, that by simply believing that you and I have been brought into a relationship with God, that perpetually we're at peace with God. What a terrible feeling. The, the feeling of ambiguity when you're in relationship with someone, but you don't know how they feel about you. When you're not sure if they're mad or if they're frustrated or are they disappointed. And can I tell you, you never have to feel that way about your relationship with God because through Jesus and through what Jesus has done by living the life we could not live, dying the death we deserved, by rising on the third day and, and gaining victory for, for us, that, that through his sacrifice, we've been forgiven of all of our sins and made to be in a relationship with God that is free of any friction, free of any ambiguity where, where, where we're not sure. We're at peace with God. And, and I mentioned this a moment ago, but the reason we're at peace with God is because we've been justified. Justified, that's like a really big Bible word, but, but all it means is that we've been declared right with God. We've been declared righteous. Romans 5, 1 and 2 says that we are now at peace with God, no friction, complete relationship, free of any... Um, frustration or ambiguity. We're at peace with God because we've been made righteous by faith. We, we're in right standing with God. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says that God, he made him who knew no sin, Jesus, to become sin, that we might become the righteousness of God. Hebrews 10.14 says by one offering, by one sacrifice, we have forever been made holy. We forever have been perfected in the eyes of God, although we are still a work in progress. First John says this, that if we just simply confess our sin, if we just simply go to God and confess our sin, that God, he's faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sin and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Psalm 103, it says, God, he forgives all all of our sin. He remembers them no more. In Christ Jesus, we have been declared by him perfect, righteous, in right standing with God, and therefore we are at peace with God. Can I tell you today, wherever you are, whatever's going on in life, whatever you have or have not done, 
by simply putting your faith in Jesus, you, you enter into a relationship with God where you are at peace with God. And God does see you like he sees his son, righteous, perfected in his eyes through the sacrifice uh, of Jesus. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 and 2, it ends um, kind of for me on this really high note of reminding me that, that I can really actually find confidence in that place. And it's not just confidence in my, my right standing with God, but it's confidence in every area of, of life. Now, let me read it to you again. Romans 5, 1 and 2, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And verse 2, listen to this. It's like the best part. It says, through whom, through whom also we have been given access by faith, listen to this, into the grace of God. Maybe you're not as excited as I am about that. But, but maybe that's because you don't understand what the grace of God is. The grace of God is the unearned, undeserved, unmerited love and blessing and favor. All of the benefits that Jesus deserves freely given to us. The Bible says God, he's the one who meets all of our needs in Christ Jesus. That it doesn't matter what you have need of. It doesn't matter what, what position you're in. It doesn't matter what predicament you're in. Maybe it's a financial thing. Maybe you need healing. Maybe your, your family's falling apart and you need for your family to be restored. Maybe your marriage is in shambles and you need a radical uh, a move or, or a touch from God to see that thing come back together. Maybe it's something at work. Maybe it's pressure. Maybe it's a mental illness. Maybe it's anxiety. Maybe it's, it's an anger problem or an addiction or whatever it is. The grace of God is sufficient. And the Bible says this, you and I, by simply putting our faith in Jesus, we've been made righteous. We were justified. We're righteous in his eyes. And we're at peace with God. And because we're righteous and because we're at peace with God, we've been given access. Matter of fact, the Bible says we're standing in it. That right now we are standing in the grace of God. You are already standing in everything and anything you will ever have need of, freely given to you. Well, what does that mean? Th that means that we have the ability to simply, wherever we are, in whatever moment it might be, to, to simply go to God and say, God, I need help. God, you, you promised and you said whatever it might be, and because you promised and you said, I'm asking you that you would work on my behalf, and you would meet my need. You'd meet me where I am and do what only you can do. My, my prayer for you, wherever you are today, is that something would happen on the inside, that you would find a newfound confidence in knowing God loves you. And because he loves you, he sent Jesus. And what did Jesus do? Jesus, he made you righteous before God. He brought you into relationship where you're at peace with God. And now, now you've been given his grace that you can freely access at any time. God is a supernatural God who can do the impossible. And he's promised he will do it on our behalf. Why? Because we're standing in the grace of God. Romans 5, 17, for anyone who would believe and receive the free gift of righteousness, the abundance of his grace, they, they would go from maybe being in this, this hurting place in life to know they would go to, to begin to reign in life. They, they would go to begin to be in a place where they have confidence and they are more than conquerors. They're more than victorious because of anything they've done. Absolutely not. But simply because of what Jesus has done and by receiving his grace. I pray today, wherever you are, that you receive the free gift of righteousness and the abundance of his grace.